This video is sponsored by Muse. So I have seen this device all over the internet. I've seen a ton of TikToks about it. I've watched quite a few YouTube videos. I've even read some articles and research papers about this. This is the Muse S Athena. And when they reached out and wanted to work with me, I was so excited. I've been really wanting to try this out. Now, full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Muse and they did send this Muse S Athena to me to try out for myself, but this is my review and my experience of the Muse S Athena as a neurodivergent person. Now, before I go any further, this is not a tech related review. There's so many other videos out there explaining the tech behind this. So let's just give a quick little background. This is a brain sensing headband that uses EEG and Fners to give feedback on your brain activity in real time. And I was initially intrigued because I've seen that it may possibly help with focus, calm, and even sleep. And it's been included in some research by Harvard, NASA, and the Mayo Clinic. And so if you're new to my channel, just a quick background on me. I was diagnosed with autism as an adult. I've struggled my whole life with my brain. It feels like Pretty much every day, there are just things that happen that make me get so frustrated because it feels like my brain is just not cooperating with me at all. And I've also been very interested in finding ways to not necessarily fix my brain because I don't think that my autistic and neurodivergent brain needs fixing, but I'm always interested in finding ways and tools and even products that may quite possibly help me work with my brain better, if that makes sense. It feels like my brain is constantly on uh, sensory overload, constantly getting overwhelmed by things, taking in all kinds of just information and sensory input. And my thoughts never stop. My brain never has a quiet moment. And this is really exhausting. Now I discovered meditation when I was still in high school and it was a tool that really helped me kind of slow this down just a little bit. But even after meditating for eight years now, I still find it to be really difficult on some days. Sometimes it feels like I don't know if I'm doing it right. I don't know if it's actually working, if it's actually helping me calm my thoughts or if it's just making it all worse. And I've tried all kinds of meditation apps, guided meditations, and those help to an extent. But one of the things that really interested me in the Muse S Athena is it offers real-time feedback with things like meditation and focus. And I'll get into that in just a sec. I'm always a little bit skeptical when it comes to wellness products. I don't know if they're gimmicky, if they actually work, if they actually help. And so even though this video is sponsored, I am here to give my honest opinion of the Muse S Athena. I think one way that I would describe this product is it's like giving yourself a mirror to look into what's going on in your brain, to understand your brain activity, to understand when you're thinking more, when you're calm, when you're focused more, to understand how your body is feeling, your heartbeat, your breath, and things like that. And I think that real-time feedback piece is what's really intriguing. And while it would be cool if this was a mind-reading device, it's not that. It just measures patterns of activity and blood flow. So all you need to do to set it up is to put it on your forehead and then back behind your ears like this. And there's a tutorial on how to set it up in the Muse app. And then you just connect it to the Muse app. And inside the Muse app, there's a few different options. Um, there's the mind option, strength, body, heart, and breath. And these are all part of the training modules on here that really help you understand how your brain's working and how to work with your brain, which is really important to me. So I think my favorite feature overall is the mind mode. This gives you real time feedback on how you're doing in your meditation. Is your brain actually calm? Are you actually feeling more focused or are you getting lost in thought? And this is really helpful for me because there's so many times throughout my day where I get so caught up in this anxious thinking, in this overwhelm, whatever it may be, in this rumination, and it's often hard to catch it before it turns into a spiral or a cycle that's even more difficult to get out of. So in meditation, 
when I'm using the Mind part of the Muse app with the Muse S Athena, it gives me real-time feedback. And my favorite Mind biofeedback meditation on here is the one called Just Birds. I think because I just love the sound of birds, it's really calming for me. When my brain calms down, when I'm starting to get more into that meditative state, I hear birds chirping. And I think that's really cool because it tells me, oh, you're in this calm state. This is what calm feels like. And so not only does it provide that real-time biofeedback, but it's something that I can use to start understanding what it actually means to be in a calm brain state, something that often feels pretty foreign to me as a neurodivergent person who also has a lot of anxiety. It pretty much gave me like a tangible way to see what my body feels like when it's relaxed. So if I do this in the morning and I start to recognize what that feeling of calm is, or on the opposite, what that feeling of in a, being caught up in a thought spiral or an anxiety spiral feels like, I can kind of take that information with me throughout my day and just start recognizing those internal cues of, oh, I think I'm getting lost in thought here. Let's redirect it back to something in the present moment. And then I know what that feeling of calm feels like because I was able to get that real-time bird sound as I was feeling that calm earlier in my meditation. It just really helps me understand what's going on in my body and what's going on in my mind and how I can utilize that to work with me when the day inevitably gets more chaotic. And another way that I found it really helps me as a neurodivergent person, especially someone who, I guess, has a hard time getting into a focused state and staying in that focused state is this mind flight feature. Now this is really cool. So essentially what you do is you control this owl with your concentration. When you're focused on it, it speeds up. And then if your focus drifts, the owl slows down. And so again, you get that real time biofeedback of understanding okay, this is when I'm focused. I can see the owl taking flight. It's getting faster. And oh, I just got a notification or oh, I'm thinking about what I have to do later today. The owl is slowing down and no longer flying. Now a practical use that I found for this specifically in my life is when I need to go do something that does require some attention or does require some focus, it helps me sort of switch my mind from just kind of being, I guess, ungrounded and a little bit floaty into a more focused state. Just five minutes of this and I'm recognizing what that focus looks like and it does get my brain into that state of being able to focus for longer periods of time. And I can also use this to almost like train my brain to be able to focus for longer periods of time. And I have found that within the month of using this, especially before sitting down to do my work, that I just feel more productive overall. And I wanna to briefly touch on another feature that really helps me specifically as a neurodivergent person. It's the body, heart, and breath features. And I found that these help me in two ways. The first is that because I'm often overwhelmed in my brain and because I have a difficult time, I guess, connecting with my body, these features help me get more in tune with my body, with my heartbeat, with my breath. The other way this helps me is when I am starting to feel sensory overload or when I start to feel like overstimulated, it almost acts as like a physical anchor for my attention, something to ground me back into my body and to feel that calm again that I need specifically in that moment of overwhelm or overstimulation. And now onto a feature that I wish was more helpful for me, but I just, I couldn't do it. So one of the really intriguing things about the Muse S Athena is that you can wear it in your sleep. And I know what you're thinking if you're also autistic and neurodivergent that this might not be the most comfortable thing to wear in your sleep. Now I'll be honest, wearing it during my meditation sessions or during my focus sessions, it doesn't bother me at all but there's just something about 
I don't know, having something on my head while I'm trying to sleep that just feels overstimulating for me. So instead of using this to track my sleep specifically, which is a feature that it can do, I've been using it to, at night, wind down before bed with the quick five or 10 minute meditation that they offer on the app. And of course, this helps my body and brain feel more relaxed and then before falling asleep, I just slip it off and set it on my nightstand so it's there in the morning when I use it to meditate. And that's the best that I found that it can help me with my sleep is more specifically before sleep so that I can feel calm and ready for bed. So after using this for about a month, I've noticed that I'm catching my thought spirals just a little bit earlier. I'm noticing that I'm able to tell my bodily cues of when I'm starting to get overstimulated or overwhelmed a little bit easier. And then when these things do happen, like my rumination spirals, or when I start to feel that sensory overload, I'm able to recognize what I can do to come back to a grounded place. And a lot of times it is using this and the features along with it in the app. And I think one of the most interesting things for me with using this is it helps me understand myself better. I always struggle with understanding myself, especially as an autistic person in this society. My brain doesn't cooperate with me. I struggle with quite a few things that may not necessarily be visible on the outside, but that really frustrate me on the daily. And by using this, it just generates a little bit of curiosity for What's actually going on in my brain right now? What does calm actually feel like for me? What does focus actually feel like for me? And how can I use these things that I'm learning about myself and about my brain and apply them into my life to, again, not fix my brain, but to better support my brain? So overall, I think that this is a really, really cool device. Is it absolutely necessary? No. Is it something that helped me understand my brain better? Yes, and that's what I love most about it. And so if you've ever wanted a way to understand what's happening inside your brain when it comes to calm, anxiety, thought spirals, focus, and how to get yourself back to a better baseline, a more calm state, and understanding what all of these things look like for you, then the Muse S Athena may be worth exploring. So if you want to try this for yourself, they've set up a special code for anyone watching this video. It's Trevor, and you can click the link below and this will get you 15% off your purchase of the Muse S Athena. And again, I'm really grateful to Muse for sponsoring this video and letting me share my honest thoughts about it and how it pertains to me specifically as a neurodivergent person.